Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we're checking out seven interesting knives, or seven knives that I find pretty interesting, starting off with the Bestech Icarus. Now, I did do a first impressions on this um, a good while back when it was in uh, uh, prototype phase. Now it's in production, and it is basically the exact same. I don't really see any real changes. Uh, maybe they did do some minor ones, but uh, yeah, it's still really, really cool. Very snappy. It kind of reminds me of like an anchovy or something. I don't know why, but I like how the thumb studs dome out and they have really cool texturing on it. It has a very snappy detent and it has really good jimping on the front flipper. So this is the kind of jipping that does do well on front flippers. However, this one does have a pretty stout detent for the front flipper. So if you like uh, strong detents for a front flipper, this might be right up your alley. It's very snappy. When you break that detent, it rockets out. And, you know, the, since the jimping is so grippy, it grips you back really well. Very, very snappy. Love this little clip point blade, even though... Um, in some cases, I guess, I guess it depends on you, but some people might not find this blade shape the most attractive. Some people might though. However, I think a lot of the people that do find it very attractive is because they know how useful it is. Um, you see how the tip goes down very low with a very small belly, which allows you to get a lot of pressure into that tip to, to use the tip, which this, with this size of knife, that's going to be its primary use is with the tip. Of course you can still, you know, cut straps and ropes and, you know, break things down if you need to, but it's a small knife, but very comfortable for such a small knife. This is a great example of a small knife because, you know, it's so straightforward as far as the handle goes. If you look at the handle, look at that. Like, it's just, it's really perfect for just about any hand. I, I can't imagine it being uncomfortable, especially for a small knife. Um, I, I like how they did the steel lock bar insert. It's a nice big one. You know, it's just well done. They, uh, they definitely did a lot of little details on this in a, a good way. They did a good job on it. So let's get to the next one. The next one is another small one, the Caval knives. So this one is the Caval Denka, the Denka, and very snappy. This thing is really, really cool. I, I, I'm surprised how much I like this thing because it, the, the thumb disc or whatever you want to call this thumb plate is very snappy. You have so much leverage onto it to do the, the reverse flick and the thumb flick. It's actually a comfortable disc, which is, and I know it's not a disc, but you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, it, it's a very comfortable one and a lot of, uh, discs are not that comfortable. Hollow ground, um, I'm going to call it a sheep's foot uh, blade. That's going to also be very good. Like the other one we were saying, a lot of leverage into that tip. Handle is very straightforward. So even though it's a small compact knife, it's very, very comfortable. It has a Timascus backspacer and disc. Then the rest is titanium with a steel liner lock. Very smooth on the drop. Really, really cool. Now the whole deployment is not useful on this, but there's no need. It's very snappy with the reverse flick. And now, I love the brushed finish on the titanium. I, I like the, all the little details on this. However, I don't like that there's no clip on here. Now, I do think that they are, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if they're coming out with a new version with a clip or not, but this would go good in a little pocket sheath. So, just for an example, I don't have one for it, but Here's a Jack Wolf's one, you know, like this would go really good in a little pocket sheath, you know, and then you can just pull it out. This one's obviously not the best one for it because it's harder to get it out because it's a little bit too big. But anyways, you could modify it. Um, really cool though. Now another Caval knives, and by the way, I do have these linked down in the description. I have a, um, an affiliate link for Caval knives now. So if you guys want to check out what else they have on their site, everything will be linked down in the description for you guys. Now, as far as this one goes, the cage. I really, I, just like the other one, I really like too. This is really, really cool. I know it's not gonna be everybody's style. I personally think Picals are really cool. And it, again, it doesn't have a clip, which I do think they're coming out with a version with a clip. Maybe I'm mistaking the other one for this one, is I think they are coming out with a version with this with the clip. But this thing is so snappy. The front flipping action it is very uh, addicting. To, to do the reach over or the thumb flick and it has perfect jimping. And what I like to do, because obviously you can see this is self-defense knife, once you snap it open, what I do is I pinch 
one of these uh, little diamonds and I spin it in my hand. So I rotate it in my hand. Now I have it in the reverse grip so that I can use it like in the Pakal grip. You can also use it backwards like this, which works really good. Access to the lock bar is really good. And if you look at this lock bar, it's actually kind of cool how it kind of wraps up and around the actual uh, blade. So as it locks up, it actually has like a, um, a spot in the front of the lock bar that curves over or curls over the front of the blade, almost hugging it. It's really cool. I found that very interesting. Uh, you don't see that too often with um, with lock bars. So, And then the blade steel is M390 steel. Uh, same thing with the last one. I forgot to mention that, M390. And I believe it's M390. So both of these are M390 steel. And it, it's, you know, again, like I said, very neutral ergo. So it's going to be comfortable in, you know, you're not going to want to use it in this grip, but as far as the pinch grip goes for opening things up, the reverse grip, and then the Pakal grip, man, this thing is, it's awesome. And I like unique knives. I like something different, you know, I, you know, especially when we see so much of the same old, same old, you know, this is really cool. You can easily reverse flick it and, you know, it's different. It stands out to me. Next is the Beyond EDC Warning. And it has a Warncliff blade with a beautiful straight edge that's gonna have a ton of leverage into that tip. This is gonna be a utility cutting beast. And even though it's not a huge knife, you can get a full four finger grip, or at least in my hands I can. It's packed, but I can do it, and it leans the knife forward. So this knife always feels like it's ready for a utility cut. Even in the pinch grip, same thing. Now what's interesting about this knife is it has this pivot uh, button lock. You know what? Let's take this thing apart. I want to see what's in the pivot. I know you guys do. Let's do it. And here we go. Wow. What is that? Is that bearing? It is bearings. Holy cow. These are the tiniest little bearings I've ever seen. On a, on, man, that's pretty cool actually. It has a thick brass washer with little tiny microscopic bearings going around it. Both sides, look at the pivot bushing. So how does this, whoa. Okay, so oh wow, the, the spring is inside the pivot. So this is the lock I'm guessing right here. So basically there's a spring inside of this little guy right here and then that pushes in with the button and pops out when it releases, locking into the blade hole. Pretty cool mechanism. I've never seen anything like this. It's very unique, very interesting, and uh, pretty fascinating, man, that we're still able to come up with new locking mechanisms. Okay, so I got this all back together. Very fascinating how this mechanism works, you know, and how the detent is so good from that one little nub, you know, locking into the blade, creating a detent, and then also creating a lock, which feels pretty strong, you know. Obviously, I haven't tested the lock strength, but as far as rock lock and things like that goes, it's pretty solid and it's very smooth on the drop. The bearings are very tiny inside the brass cage, but hey, you know, it makes it to where everything's fit so tightly. And yeah, very fascinating, very interesting. I love seeing innovation and new locking mechanisms. Now, I'm not sure when these will be available. As far as I know, they're gonna be very soon. They're gonna be dropping. So this is just a prototype version of this, but pretty soon here, we should be seeing these on Beyond EDC's website or maybe on Blade H2 and stuff like that. We'll see. So um, I can't wait for this one to finally come out so other people can get to try it. Is um, a quick one, but a fixed blade that is also a push dagger or pocket knife, so it, it changes. I gotta say, this thing is a lot better than I first imagined or first thought, and I'm not saying I didn't give it credit, because I did, I actually liked it right off the bat. But I've carried it quite a bit now, and I've actually carried it on my hip, on the sheath, carried it around, and it is a lot better, to. it's not easier to carry, um, it's very easy to conceal, it's fast to get out, and 
be, even though this thing does move, right? You would think like, oh, well, that's not going to be safe in your hand. It's very safe because when you apply pressure right here, it can't go nowhere. Like you can't unlock it. Like it can't even bend. It can't do that when you squeeze this part because when you're squeezing this part, you're pushing all the pressure into there, making it impossible for it to move. So when you stab like a tree or stab anything with this, no movement at all. It feels like a fixed blade. It actually feels like a fixed blade when you do it. And that was the one thing I was worried about. Then when you get it into the pocket knife grip, now in this grip, yes, it can go forward on you. So this one's not going to be the most secure grip, but the way you're going to use this is on in a pinch. You know, you just open it up, you know, make your cut, break your thing down, whatever you need to do with the knife, and then fold it back to this way and put it back in the sheath because it goes in the sheath in the push dagger position, not in the pocket knife position, which I think is good because, you know, if you need to get it out fast, this is going to be the way you're going to want to get it out fast. And technically, you can actually use it like this pretty good. I actually was breaking things down just like this, and it actually works. So... Anyway, sheath is good quality, fits on the belt really good. Um, like I said, I personally think it is awesome and uh, definitely recommend it for anybody who wants a good little self-defense push dagger slash pocket knife um, or a fixed blade, whatever you want to call it. Uh, last is the Squire. So this is another example of a thumb disc, kind of like the, the Denka that has a thumb disc that actually works really good. So uh, um, the thumb flick is not the best because they are slippery around the edge. They need to put some traction around the edge. But as far as the reversed flick goes, your middle finger lands perfectly in this little spot. And man, is it snappy. Very, very smooth. Shielden really stepped it up on this one. So Shielden, I'm not saying Shielden was doing bad work or anything like that. But, you know, some of their work was, you know, you could see that it needs some improvements. And over time, you knew they were gonna. Um, but this really shows what they're capable of because not only is it extremely well done, it's surprisingly well done. Great access to the lock bar, a very comfortable disengagement, extremely smooth on a very light blade. It has a Warren Cliff Harpoon blade. So you can actually use this little space right there for your thumb or your pointer finger. Again, you can have a ton of leverage all the way out to the tip and it's gonna make a utility cutting beast. It is a small compact knife, just like the rest on the list. And it's really snappy. M390 steel, um, it's M390 steel, titanium, carbon fiber. I would rather see this in micarta, but it does look cool with the carbon fiber. My one complaint, my most biggest complaint, or my biggest complaint, is the clip. The clip, they, they, they kind of crept the bed on the kind of clip it is, at least on this one. Now, this is a prototype, so they're going to fix that, I'm sure, if they haven't already. Um, so you can expect the clip to be better. But on my example, the, you know, that's the one negative. But man, really cool little knife. So if you're into small knives, which most people are, as far as everything else goes, like the heat treat, the steel and stuff, I can't really speak on that. I haven't tested it or anything like that. But, uh, but yeah. The, um, Shielden seems like a pretty good company to work with and you know they're they're pretty open to uh, to doing what the community wants at least it seems so we'll see in the future how that goes anyways I appreciate you guys watching until next time peace